Hey guys, Graham Jay here, uh, coming at you with another video. Today we're going to look at the Tesla style firmware upgrade by Sergi. Uh, there's a Facebook group called Tesla style firmware head units, uh, etc. Um, basically what this is is a firmware update <clears throat> that you can install on the unit to give a uh, user interface experience enhancement. Uh, it comes with a number of themes, a uh, number of new additions and features, and he's actually updating it, I think, regularly, depending on what model you have and what resolution you're running. But the overall process of installation of the firmware was fairly painless. Just pay attention to his instructions. And I think if you guys have any further questions on how to get that installed, contact me. Maybe I can help walk you through it. Um, right now, the video today is just going to be a review of the Tesla-style firmware. Uh, where I'm at with the actual head unit itself and how um, and all the different um, themes that come with the firmware upgrades. So what you can expect. I think there's a handful of themes, maybe 10, 12, whatever. We're going to look at them all today on my unit. That's pretty much all we're going to do. And then we're going to kind of talk about how I'm feeling about the head unit at this point. I'll tell you right now, right off the bat, I hate the car play thing. I, it's no fun. The dongle, the, I'm over it. I'm just going to use it as a radio. The car play, whatever. I don't need to see my text messages. So anyways, stay tuned, guys. We're going to check this thing out, and we're going to get right into it. All right, right off the bat, guys, I want you to see the load screen. I don't know if it'll do it again, but um, he basically changed the load screen image for me, which was great. I know, it's jumping right into it. All right, well, I'm gonna back up a little bit and uh, we'll take a look at this. All right, you guys, um, we're gonna get into this. I put the sunscreen up just to, um, you know, keep the video focused on here and uh, not let any of the other light in. Um, just so you can see what it looks like with this down, you can still see the screen. You can still see the screen just fine, but there's kind of a glare uh, that the phone's picking up on the anti-glare screen protector that I put on there. Um, and so I just, I want to kind of get rid of that just for the video. Um, but we'll jump into that and basically start with saying that I did end up getting an anti-glare screen protector for this unit. Um, I got that uh, in order to reduce some of the glare that shows up on here because that was really tough to deal with during the day. So. That's kind of the first adjustment I've done, and right now we're here in the new Tesla style screen firmware for the Android 9.1 PX6. I think this is the 12.1 from Phoenix. So basically, um, I bought a uh, anti-glare screen protector for a screen that was similar size. I took the screen protector that was on there off, I cut it to the dimensions of this one, and um, voila put it on and it looks just fine you can see where the old the screen is down here that glare and then the anti-glare so the anti-glare is great it definitely helps uh, especially with some of the brightness issues but you can see it's it's the daytime right now it's overcast but you can still see this just fine you can see it just fine as well with the the sunscreen down uh, but the camera for some reason is just picking up some some reflections or some sort of light uh, refraction on the on the uh, anti-glare protector which is making it a little difficult to see uh, nonetheless, <clears throat> I want to start out with uh, the boot screen and the images. Obviously, you can see that I've got an IPL coupe here. Uh, I don't drive an IPL, but Sergi was able to give me the IPL coupe because I'm going to throw that body kit on this car uh, relatively soon after we supercharge it and stuff. So that's cool. Um, he also added um, features to where you can do the gyros and stuff on here. I'm not crazy about it, but you know, here's what it looks like. I personally go with the Bluetooth. So I'll have Bluetooth right there and I'll have music up right there. And that's my, my Samsung Galaxy and then I got the car and the uh, the TAC and the odometer, or I'm sorry, the TAC and the speedometer right there. So that's cool. What I'm gonna do right now is go into the uh, settings and just show you guys the, um, let's see here, the boot screen image, just because I think that's worth looking at. And it's pretty cool. He put an IPL there, it's a cool image and you know, it came with the firmware update. He'll ask you uh, what's your vehicle, uh, the color, and everything, and he'll get, get you custom images. So it's really neat, really neat feature. Here we go. Look at that. It's just such a nice boot screen. And I believe that's, you know, PCH over in SoCal. I mean, it's just such a cool picture. Not my car. I'll change it eventually, but that is just, just a really cool boot screen I'm, I'm crazy about it so anyways um 
yeah, as far as the firmware update goes, I get you guys can really see it's just uh, UI, really. It's, it's, it's great. It looks great. Um, having the all black theme is really cool. It makes it easier to see, um, you know, with the way that the colors kind of contrast one another. This is just the blue theme. Um, but we'll touch, we'll touch base with every theme that's available. Uh, here it's connecting back to my phone. And then um, uh, go from there. So first things first, I don't want to ramble on too much. Uh, he changed, uh, he added a tab here, multimedia, and it just kind of shows you a different, you know, a uh, couple of different options for multimedia. Uh, I think the online music is a new one. Um, uh, let's see, apps customize. I think in the actual user settings, there's some changes. Um, so he's got... No, I'm not really sure what the main changes here. The one, the one I do know, and you guys can refer to the Facebook page, um, phone speaking volume, so you can kind of set what you want your phone volume to be at when you take a call so it doesn't interfere with your actual music. Uh, that was something I had an issue with uh, right off the bat with this unit. Um, and then there's, you know, there's some other different things that you can change in here. Just refer to the Facebook, guys. I, I don't really... I just threw this on. I'm doing this as a video for you guys to show you the themes. So right now I'm on main theme. Uh, let's see. ZM blue. Okay. So that's where we're at. We're going to go back to the top and just kind of go through these. So this one's going to be theme zero classic one. I'm not a betting man, but I think this is going to be the classic, uh, <laughs> what came with it. Let's see. All right, back on the lovely boot screen. This is Classic 1, the first theme on the selection. I'll probably skip this on the next couple of themes just so we're not looking at the same thing over and over and over. Okay, so yeah, this is basically uh, how the car came stock. This doesn't look stock to me down here um, as far as mine goes but yeah this is basically how the car came right off the bat so let's go and see what the next theme is all right user settings let's drop me down to the themes so this one's going to be uh, theme one classic number two coming up next all right theme two Mm, I don't really see much difference here except for maybe this guy up here looks just a little different, but for the most part this all looks pretty similar. Oh look, you can just keep scrolling too. I think that's a, a new feature. Alright, well let's go into the next one. This one's alright. I'm not crazy about the classic themes. Uh, some people might be, but me personally I, I like the Sergi uh, aftermarket themes. So this one's going to be Theme 2 VW see what that one's all about save and reboot all right this is uh, VW um, this one's actually interesting uh, I did not see this on the forum page so this has the traditional AC control interface which this unit came with but the top is really interesting I'm I'm actually kind of into this I don't like how some of these touch each other but this is actually pretty cool here's what the Bluetooth um, player looks like this should still be the same uh, there's actually a setting for the radio and the Bluetooth what those look like and I'll show you guys real quick I have it set a certain way um, I want to say it's right here so theme for radio music player and Bluetooth you can do classic which is classic Black, which is what I have, and then Modern, which I think is kind of a translucent. I don't know if that goes away after you do that. I think that, yeah, you've got to save and reset for that as well. So we'll we'll see what the, uh, the Modern looks like. Uh, so anyways, this is Theme 2 VW. Pretty cool. And let's go to the next one, which is Theme 7 KW. Let's check it out. So this one's kind of got like a classic look. Uh, the modern Bluetooth actually doesn't look bad, man. I'm actually kind of into that. I like this theme because it's got the blue carried down here and the classic AC control, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got just this close to the original 
the animation's pretty nice on this too. Look at that, sharp. Not bad. Let's see what the uh, calling feature looks like down here. Dude, I actually like that. I actually think I like that over the other one. I may rock this one, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is cool, this is uh, the next one. I forget what it was called, I think it was 2KW. So let's check it out. User settings. Go down to the themes. We're on theme 7 KW. So let's move to the next one and go theme 8 KSP. Let's check it out. I'd like to see if the uh, Bluetooth player changes when we change this. Alright, going into the uh, theme 8 KW or whatever this one was. I don't remember. It's definitely KW. Okay, so similar uh, fascia up here. Some people might go for this because it's actually, it's got kind of a cool interface. It's still fluid. Still pretty cool. There's the IPL coupe. And that still looks the same, which is great. So it's got that modern flair. And that's that's cool. I actually like this. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to stick with this. But anyways, that's, this is, uh, let's see what this one is. I don't per per personally like this one, but this one is Theme 8 KSP. So I got it wrong. Uh, now we're going to jump into Theme 25 QC. Let's go ahead and save and reboot and see what that one looks like. All right, here's the next theme. Okay, so, okay, so that's, this is back to Bluetooth. Okay, so that still looks the same. Uh, here is the next one. Uh, I don't exactly remember what it was called, but we'll get to that. A little more of a modern look, similar to the other ones we've been looking at. Not bad. Not my first pick, but not bad. Not bad. All right, let's jump to the next one. This one was Theme 25 QC. So the next one is going to be Main theme, 37CHWY. Not sure why his naming convention is what it is, but we'll try it out. I just want to mention that last theme. I really like the way the climate control looked. You just missed it, but it looked really cool. I, I did like it there. And there's that intro screen again. In case anybody's interested, I'm in a 2012 coupe, uh, six speed, and uh, we're getting ready to supercharge this guy. Actually, uh, this week I'm going to be doing a video on um, a valve cover gasket replacement and maybe even an oil cooler install because uh, I got to get those on before we get it up into the uh, hangar. Uh, okay, so I'm not, I don't remember what this one was. Um, not bad, very modern looking. I like it. Now, this is just an app I've got up. You can always get rid of that and go back. So I'm going to go back just so you guys can kind of see what these are. I like the way this looks. Now this is not too interactive, um, obviously you can toggle your music right here which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is not a bad theme. Here's what the uh, options up top look like. Pretty cool guys. I, I actually don't mind this one. It's not my first pick. We'll definitely see what else there is. And I'll keep that Bluetooth thing out of the way so we can see what uh, what these look like in full force. All right, so this was main theme 37. Uh, I'm not going to say the words anymore or the letters. Uh, next one's going to be theme 42, KSP2. Let's get right in it. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, uh, we're getting ready to supercharge it. Uh, we're going Soho Motorsports air to air. Uh, it looks like a great kit. It was recommended by my tuner. And uh, stay tuned if you guys are interested in looking at uh, videos on boosting this car and seeing what that's, uh, that's going to be like if anybody's interested in forced induction. All right, this one's uh, this one's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I feel like we just keep stepping up the contemporary with each one. So this one's kind of got a more contemporary look to it. Nothing crazy. The icons up here are a little bit bigger. So if somebody has trouble seeing the original icons, this one's not bad. Um, you know, here's just the player down here. There's the time. Not bad. This one's pretty cool. Let's uh, go back to the settings and see which one we're on here so this one's theme 42 with the convention thereafter uh, this one says main theme 43 Land Cruiser let's see what this one's all about alright so this is actually the one where the little car comes into play 
this is the um, the car he sent me. He had me upload this file. It's a little G37 coupe with the uh, open door cutouts for the AC controls. Actually pretty cool. And there's the gyroscope with the little G coupe. There's a G coupe right there. There's a G coupe right there. Apparently I'm uh, doing that. Pretty interesting. That's really just a bearing. So uh, I guess I'm pointing at... Uh, Actually, I don't know what is what that is. None of this is correct. I'm definitely not pointing north. I might have to reset these. I think those are some settings. Um, anyways, this is pretty cool. So this is the Land Cruiser setting. I don't know if it comes on a normal Land Cruiser uh, uh, screen, if this is how it looks, but it's all blue. So if you're into that all deep blue look, this is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know where... Okay, there we go. Nothing was labeled, so a little challenging there. I'm not crazy about that one. It's pretty cool, but wouldn't be my first pick. So let's go to the next one, which is going to be Theme 56, KSP Gold. I actually have seen a couple guys rock this, and I think this one's cool. Let's check it out. All right. Um, I've actually seen people rock this one. This one's pretty cool. Very simplistic design. Nothing crazy going on. I actually could see myself rocking this. This one's cool. Again, there's something wrong with this compass. I might have to go into the settings and reset it. I'm definitely not pointing at a 360 degree heading uh, but <clears throat> so anyways I love how simple the climate control is on this one it is so nice it's just basic um, you know fan speed I think you can crank the fan up here okay so it drops that down and you can do do the adjustments there not bad I do like this one I don't think it's gonna be my main but it's definitely cool um, I, I think I want to rock more of this you know the stock look blue and white but this one's cool. Here's what the icons look like up top. Definitely cool. All right, so that one was theme 56, and now we're going to 59 LM. All right, going into the next one. This one's all right, this one's all right. Nothing crazy. okay I mean these definitely don't change up a whole lot but I see that the guys got to go through a lot to you know kind of make these different add to them um, I don't mind the um, climate controls on this one this one actually looks cool kind of a more traditional style uh, not bad not bad I'm gonna jump to the next one because I'm not crazy about this one not a lot to talk about All right, let's see what's up next. That was 59. Uh, now we're gonna go to main theme uh, ZST. Let's see what that one's about. Save and reboot, here we go. All right, not bad. Again, another variation of something I think we've already seen. I, I don't think we've seen this yet. This one's cool. I do like this. It's got the dual climate control. It tells us what we're rocking. Not bad, not bad. This one's got a real sharp look to it. All blue again, so if you're into the Land Cruiser one, but with labeling up here, and this one looks a little more sharp, this one would be your your theme. And again, guys, the themes really carry into, I think, just the main display and stuff. Uh, I don't think it affects this screen or any of the, uh, you know, if I was to go to radio, it would, it would have, okay, well, that's not what I want. Okay, we'll go to music. So the theme will affect your radio player as far as music and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think it's going to... Yeah, see, so that still looks stock. All right, let's go to the next one. I hate that song. I, don't, I wish I wouldn't have loaded that on this. If anybody's with me on that song, let me know. Delete it immediately. All right, let's go to... Uh, let's see. Theme 66 MK. All right, so right off the bat, uh, this is getting a little monotonous. These are starting to look very similar. Um, I think if, oh my God, if you guys were into some of these, you know, you could find them on your own. I like that they've got the widget right here for music. Um, I don't know if that counts for the Bluetooth. Let's see, so you get Bluetooth running, back it up. No, it's not. I actually like this one. Um, 
Very similar to some of the other ones, but I love the way the climate control looks. This one's not bad. I might consider rocking this one. I do like this one. This one's definitely one of my contenders. This one is called... Theme 66 MK. I do like that one. So let's see what uh, let's see what the next one is. I'm gonna go back to black, by the way. I think I'm gonna stick with the black as far as the Bluetooth player goes. I can't make up my mind, guys. Main theme, 83ZM Red. I know what this is. This is the opposite of what I had when I started this video. Let's check it out. So this is the main theme red. This is kind of like the one that I had when uh, I first started. I, I like this one, guys. I really do. Um, I just wish that it... I wish I could match, get the gauge cluster to match. And I know there's ways to do that, but this is definitely a cool looking theme. I really like the red. The red and the blue, whoops. The red and the blue I'm really into. Real cool. Let's go to the next one. Uh, which is going to be the blue. We did see that when we started this, but hey, what's a video without showing you guys everything? So, main theme ZM blue. Here we go. All right, here's the one I started the video with. Let's get in focus here. I do like this one. I like the blue. Uh, it's kind of my thing. I like it with the, uh, you know, the minimal radio here. This is kind of what I've been going for. This one's not bad, you guys. It's It was my first choice, uh, at least when I first installed the firmware. Um, but I'm really liking that other one that we looked at, the MK. So let's keep going. I, I uh, and I'm, This is the first time I'm seeing all these, so we're in this together, you guys. All right, next one is Theme 100 KLD. Let's get into it. You know, at first when... Uh, Oh, this one kind of looks like a iPhone in a way, or CarPlay. Uh, when I first got this, I was like, man, I wish you had more themes. But now I'm kind of like, ah, having to look through all these is kind of kind of tough. I mean, you have to reset it each time. I love the traditional look down there for the climate control. This kind of has more of a CarPlay feel to it uh, as far as these icons go. Very, very Apple-esque. Uh, not bad. I I'm not crazy about this, but I can see how somebody would like this. Um, so this isn't bad. And last but not least, let's check out the last one. There's one more view. I know I'm, I've been kind of in on these, you guys, so my apologies. If I have to reshoot this, I will. Um, but let's go into the next one. Again, very Apple-esque. And last but not least, Theme 102, KSP3. Now, I don't know how these are named or what, or if he's got really a hundred of them or you know what the deal is but <clears throat> this guy basically does the firmware for all of these units shapes and sizes whatever you name it px3 px6 um so you'll just have to hit him up go to the page the tesla style uh firmware and head units page uh if you need me to link it below just let me know and uh just kind of browse that area check out the post see what already exists um, you know, look at existing dialogues so you at least have an idea of what's already been discussed and you can kind of do some research there and then you can even talk to the guy himself, shoot him a message. His name's Sergi. He's, he's in Russia. Whoa, okay. I like this one. I really like this one. I like it because it's all black. I love that look. The climate control is real basic. You know what you're dealing with. Drop it down. Should drop them both down. Yeah, I like this one. Let's see how it looks with the Bluetooth. That's what's important. Oh, yeah. I think I like this one. I'm stuck between this one and the MK. I am liking this one, though. This one's cool. So, anyways, that was the last one, you guys. Um, I'm going to go back, actually, with you guys in here, because we're, we're, I'm making this decision now, uh, what I'm going to rock. So... I want to see the MK once more and, um, you know, go from there. So let's get into the MK. Where is it? MK, Theme 66 MK. I really liked this. So let's check this one out one last time and then we'll make a decision. <clears throat> All right, you guys, loading back into the MK. Let's see what it looks like and then we'll wrap this video up. Um, 
Again, you guys, just wanted to show you the user interface and a little bit about this, this firmware update. Okay, I really like the MK. I think I'm gonna rock MK, you guys. I like the minimalistic colors up here and it kind of allows you to look and know what you're looking at when you're driving so you don't really have to you know dick around too much and then I just love the climate controls I love that so much and it looks great with the the black Bluetooth I would like him to add more Bluetooth uh, themes but this is great yeah I'm gonna stick with this one I think this is my theme so anyways guys hope you enjoyed um, stay safe and uh, I don't know how well this can see me but I, I appreciate you guys joining in uh, drop a sub, drop a comment, let's talk about this, and uh, stay tuned, because we're not only going to deal with the Tesla screen, but we're going to do uh, tuning and uh, install videos, and we're going to boost the car. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to have you guys join me. So, peace, until next time, Graham J.